Hi guys, this is the little toy car I converted to rubber band power the other day. It's just got a rubber band that goes around the back axle that winds up when you push it back and unwinds itself to go forwards or the other way. And what I'm going to do is take this solar fluttering dragonfly apart to get the electric motor out of it and the solar panel and convert it to solar power. So first thing I'll do is get the motor out of here. Right, that worm gear fits on that motor nicely. What I need to do though is put some spaces on the axle so that it can't slide backwards and forwards like this or it will be missing the worm gear. So I need to cut some small spaces to hold it in place. Then I'll just hot glue that in place. extended the wires so we can put the solar cell on top of the car and that should be it. Need a nice big lump of hot glue now to go in there. I'll just saw this piece off. Soldered the wires on, checked it was going the right way, put some hot glue in there to hold the wires in place so I don't stress the terminals at all. Now, I, now all I'll do is get some blue tack I think and stick it on there. Right, that's a little bit disappointing. It is working but it's underpowered. I really need a bigger gear on that back axle. It can only just about move, it really crawls. <laughs> Alright, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> Well, there's a coincidence. Just been out for a cup of coffee, come home and a postman's bin. There's a package for me. So we've got some gear wheels. They look a little bit bigger than the ones that I was just using. And some more worm gears. So, we might just try a little modification, see if those gears are a little bit bigger. Well, I've fixed it, I've changed the gearing again. Unfortunately somebody's house alarm's going off outside, so we've got to put up with that noise.
I did away with the worm gear. So now we've just got a couple of ordinary cogs matching up with each other. The only trouble is they're not quite the right size so I've had to tilt the motor to make it fit. But that seems to be a better gearing ratio for that amount of power and those sized wheels. It's picking up enough power with the cell laying flat. That's obviously an improvement.